Well, howdy ho there, boys. Welcome back to another video. My name's Tyler, I go by Zanian Online, and I'm glad to have you here. What I'm gonna be showing you is just my new little rice here for DWM. Um, I'm really liking it. This is hands down my, my favorite rice I've ever done. Um, and it was sort of inspired by TFL's video. Um, if you're not familiar with him, Terminal for Life, I'll try and remember to put his channel link in the description. I'm normally pretty good about that, so it should be down there. Um, but he has a video where he shows off his i3WM um, config, and he didn't use a bar. And that really did inspire me to go ahead and try living life without a bar in DWM, because, I mean, the way he put it, you know, you're always in the terminal, you, you just don't really need it. And I've been wanting to get more and more into scripting and stuff, and so it was a all around good venture. Um, I do have my DWM config set up so I can get the bar, I just have to do mod control B, um, that little key binding there to get my bar, but I'm not really using it at all. Because why? Um, I have four workspaces that I use generally, and <clears throat> So you might be wondering, well, you know, uh, if you don't have a bar, how are you going to get the time and, and stuff? And I have a nice little script when I press mod, and uh, for me that's the super key, so super and S will bring up a nice little D menu window here, and I can, I can select, I've got a whole bunch of different scripts up here, and what this script here, uh, it loads up D menu and then it will let me edit, um, open up and edit all my different scripts inside of Vim. So if I was to do a time and date here, you'll see I've got just a tiny little script here and all it's doing is doing a notify send. So pushing on notification for Dunst and <clears throat> it's just going to push out the time and date. And so I've got these little scripts like that set up so I can get notifications. So if I want to change my desktop audio, um, I have mod uh, left and right bracket will change my audio. And you can see it'll give me a nice little pop up there for what the audio is at. And I normally keep my audio right at about 60%. So we'll keep it there. Um, mod T will show me the time, mod, uh, I believe it's B, yep, will show me the battery status, um, which is nice and handy for, you know, me, I've got a laptop, and the terminal thing that we've got going on here, um, actually, uh, I had Smoig, uh, he's one of the guys who's always chilling in chat and over on the Discord, so, uh, if you ever want some, some help with anything, he's normally always there and fantastic he's great um he whipped up a um a color scheme that matched the uh well the the wallpaper i'm using here which is this really nice mario pixel art wallpaper if you want this wallpaper i got it from r slash wallpapers but just message me in discord and and i'll post it there um, I probably will remember to do that myself, but no promises. So uh, if you can't find it in, you know, the Unix porn section of the Discord, just shoot me a message. I'll, I'll send it right to you. But it's really good. I really, really like it. This rice looks good. It, um, it, it it's just, it's, I mean, it's just a joy to use it, man. Um, I've started also using FFF, the... Uh, fucking fast file manager. Um, and it's got, you know, um, well, Vim key bindings, which is super nice and it's fast. So that's nice too. Um, and yeah, I'm using SXIV to view images. Um, all around this rice is just a joy to use. And to be honest, living life without a bar, has been just fine. Um, it's 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 been good. If I do mod shift s here, I got a nice little script that again, you guys help helped me make. I needed I desperately needed the help getting this, but it'll actually pull down and show me my sub count from YouTube, which is super cool and like really nifty. And all in all, the Living life without a bar just sort of incentivizes creating 
nifty little scripts to do stuff that you would typically just have displayed in a bar or stuff like that. And I really, really like it. I, I really like it. Um, and just in case you're wondering if you see any of the scripts here and you're like, I would like to use that or anything, it's all available up on my GitLab. I also will go ahead and say, um, if you're wondering how I, you know, uh, just in case you check on uh, my uh, DWM config, uh, if we vim into my config.h here, um, Buddy is wanting to go play. It's a rainy day outside and uh, he's not happy about it because that means we can't, we can't uh, play outside in the yard and, um, you know, wrestle around and have fun. And so he wants to go do that, but um, there's like an inch of water standing in the backyard, and I don't know about y'all, but I'm not looking to dive into mud today. But just in case you're wondering how I get, you know, config, select, sub count, bat, bat status, the, the scripts that I have available, how do I get them to run, you know, uh, without having to do the dot slash or whatever, because... I was uh, new to scripting and wanted to know that. Just just so you know, all you have to do is, well, let's cd back to my home directory. If I vim into my dot uh, bash uh, profile, you'll see here inside of this, and again, all, all of these files are available on my GitLab. Um, all we're doing is essentially adding um, my home directory and the dot scripts directory um, into my path. That way the system looks at those scripts as if they're actually just installed programs, not just my custom scripts that I've made. Um, and so you can, you can use this and then just, if you don't keep your dot scripts in that folder, you know, change them around and you don't really have to know the rest of what's going on here, but essentially all that I'm doing is ensuring that um, when I do want to run these, it's not the full path to uh, the to the scripts. So it just makes it look nicer, especially when you're, you know, I don't know, running stuff and uh, using stuff like a D menu script to get uh all this stuff loaded up and I mean I could also show off my fantastic make script which has been coming in super clutch lately and it's a, it's a stupidly simple script um but yeah I I hope you guys enjoyed this it, again if you want to get this rice or anything you know my dot files are there and also I'm gonna be doing some more some some a, a lot more scripting here recently uh or in the near future also just want to let you guys know today is tuesday and so on wednesday or excuse me thursday uh it's my birthday and so for my birthday i'm gonna wake up early get me a coffee uh, brush my teeth, sit down, and we're going to do a live stream for my birthday in the morning. So uh, if you want to be there, it's uh, it, it would be awesome. It's going to be a really fun birthday stream. I look forward to it. Um, look forward to hanging out with you guys on my birthday. Um, so uh, thank you for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button. It, it does actually help YouTube know that, I don't know, people like it. And comment, let me know what you think of the rice. If uh, if you have any ideas for scripts that you'd like to see, throw them out in the comments and we'll 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 probably get to it. <clears throat> no guarantees as I am decently lazy. But if you also want to help me continue to make videos and stuff like that, please consider going over my Patreon. It's uh it's much much appreciated and thank you to my current patrons. Chris, uh, Mitchell, oh my god, I'm trying to remember everybody, Matt, and I know I've forgotten somebody. Whoever you are, I'm so sorry. Uh, again, when it comes to patrons, I don't always call like my patrons out by name. Uh, I'm not sure that everybody wants me to do that, but you know, thank you guys for, for being awesome and supporting me. It, it really does mean a lot, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.